Hey guys, so I'm just gonna be a uh, pretty much short video. We're gonna be going over some news that you're pretty much seeing on the screen right now. Um, I'm gonna be giving my thoughts about it, and then that'll be it. It is 7 a.m. in the morning, and I just woke up about like 10 minutes ago, so bear with me. Um, it was announced last night that K. Kane would be recasted in Batwoman Season 2. I quit watching Batwoman Season 2 because of this main problem. Ruby Rose, who played K. Kane last season, Season 1, left because one, she couldn't handle anymore, two, the cast said she was bad to work with, and she didn't like to do it. So she left. So they put in uh, Javicia as Ryan Wilder to replace Kay Kane as Batwoman. She hasn't really gotten to be Batwoman because we have Alice on the show who's taking up like 60% of the screen time. We have other people coming in. We have the team Batwoman, Luke and whoever else, working with Ryan. We haven't really had those famous scenes in the Elvers where it's just her. Where we get to learn about Ryan. We might have had one episode about that, but that was it. And it was probably the last episode I watched. I think it was 202. They need to kill Kate off. I don't care how they do it. Recasting Kate Kane is going to ruin this show more than it already is. I don't give a damn if you're a Kate fan. Because here's what's going to happen. You're going to have Ryan, Alice, because we know they won't get rid of her, and they're going to have Kate now. Which you know there's going to be Alice and Kate storylines going on while there's a Ryan storyline going on. Or Ryan's going to be the side story and it's going to be Kate and Alice. Or it might be Kate and Ryan, but you know it won't be that big. Because Alice will be the main part of the show. They need to do something with Alice. Get her off the show. It's nothing against the actor who plays Alice. It's not. I, the actor's great. She does a good job. But. It's what, over a, almost two seasons now we've had of Alice? Need something new in the show. Also, having... Kate Kane being recasted, I'm sure the actor will do great. I, I bet she will. But the writers of Batwoman are not really smart. Um, I'm not trying to be rude to anyone or anything, but I don't know why I said anything. What? <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude to anyone, but recasting a character who you said you wouldn't recast. At the same time, you wouldn't kill off. Just tell them that, okay, we're going to bring Kay Kane back for one episode in the beginning of the season. We're going to have her leave due to whatever. And that'll be it. Okay, do that. Why do you go on this whole season thing? We're on episode, what, nine of Batwoman? It's been going on for nine episodes. They didn't know if KK was dead. Some believed it, some didn't. I think I didn't watch if some people were saying they found out that K was actually dead in 208. And now they're going to recast her for a future season 2 episode. So we have two bad women probably running around. Or one's going to leave the cow. I'm talking about Ryan right now. So they're going to have Ryan, who was confirmed for season 3, by the way. Ryan's confirmed for season 3. And they're going to have Kate there. How the hell is that going to work? <clears throat> is this going to be another Flash, Kid Flash thing? Which, I mean, that's not a bad thing. I love the Flash, Kid Flash thing. But, like, uh, this is just not good. <laughs> um, again, I haven't watched Batwoman in a while because of this. Because they keep dragging out the storylines. And honestly, it's worse than Flash Season 6, the back half. Where Iris is stuck in the mirror for like 13 episodes and Barry couldn't figure it out. I thought that was the worst the Arrowverse could get. <laughs> or any show could get with storylines. Yeah, this is much worse. <laughs> um, like I'd say a scale 1 to 10, a negative 100. This is pretty damn bad. Um, 
And if you're a Kate fan, congrats to you. You get what you want. Not really, though, because we all know Ryan and Alice will be taking up more screen time already than Kate will be. So, I don't know. <laughs> they need to do something with Alice. They need to get her out of the show. Like, what, you know, beat her, whatever. Do something. Like, stop having the main villain be recurring for the past season and a half. They need to get Ryan in the bat suit, which I know they did, but it's not really her being Batwoman. I'm sorry, but if you watch Batman Season 2, you really only see her not even really be Batwoman. Like, she doesn't know what she's doing. She's still figuring it out. And because there's Alice taking up like 80% in a freaking episode every week. Um, we don't really see Ryan being Batwoman or let alone becoming her. She's not used to it. We see that. So they really, really need to fix Ryan to bring in Kate. To make Alice leave. They need to do that. That is the most important thing that any of them can do on the show right now. And going into season two, we were all worried because they're killing off the main character. I don't know what we're going to do. And I love Javisa. She's great as Batwoman. She is an amazing actor. And she does an amazing job in the suit. I think she even does her own stunts. So it's like she's perfect for the show. But... We need to give her more screen time than the villain, the main villain, who's been there since, like, season one. I, I'm pretty sure it was the beginning of season one. Just lock her up. Make a storyline where you lock her up. Break a storyline where you be her. <laughs> Stop dragging Alice out. Stop dragging this Kate crap out. Kill one of them off. Kill both off. Make both leave. I don't know. Do something. There's no reason why you can't make a storyline where Alice goes to prison, she's beaten, or she dies. There's no reason why you can't can keep this storyline where Kate's dead and everyone can move on and we can finally see Ryan being Batwoman for more than five minutes. It is not that hard to do. I think I really don't blame the actors because all of them are great. I bet they are. But it is the storylines that they give the actors that does not look good on them. The story writers and the producers and whatever, they need to stop season two. They need to look at what they're doing and have common sense and realize that bringing Kate back... Realizing that having Alice have like 60% of the screen time and Ryan having 20 with just her team. I think we've had like, what, 2% of just Ryan on the show? Like, they need to stop doing production. They need to sit down, look at what they're doing with the show. And realize if that, if that is really how they want to do it. And I bet their answer will be, no, we don't want it to be this way, but here it is. They need to fix it. Basically, it went on like a 10 minute rant. <laughs> um, but I really don't think this is a good idea. Again, it's not because the actors, I bet they'll be great. But they just keep, they need to stop dragging crap out. And they need to let uh, Kate just basically not disappear, but just. Let her storyline end. I mean, almost a year now. Like, just let her storyline end. Let Alice's storyline end. Don't care if she's a good actor. I mean, hell, like, look at Flash and Arrow. I mean, Steven was a good actor. Emily was a good actor. All of them were good actors. Because the show ended... They wouldn't just bring them on another show, like on Flash, bring all of them over there. That's really what this show is doing. We've had Alice for two seasons. And they're keeping on her because she's a good actor. There are plenty of other good actors out there, just not her. 
I mean, I... <laughs> Like I said, that would be like every Arrow actor going to Flash because they didn't want to get rid of them all because they were good actors. That's not how it works. <laughs> if you really want to do a story about Batwoman, bring in some of like the villains we've been asking for. Like some Batman villains that we never got to see in the Flash. Or not the Flash, sorry, the Arrowverse in general. Bring in like... A different version of Deathstroke. We haven't seen him in the Arrowverse. Bring that in. Make him a big villain. Or, you know, well, maybe not a big villain because of Arrow, but a couple episode villain. Bring that in. Do something different. That's what Batwoman needs to do, at least for me, so I can watch it again because I'm not watching this crap. Also, why I've only done like two reviews of Batwoman Season 2. <laughs> Which, both episodes I love, by the way, and I'm you know, 203, I think I watched and I didn't like it, but I didn't re do a review on it because it's all about Kate and it was ridiculous. Yeah. I want to end the video here before I go on a freaking another rant. Um, thank you for watching. Um, and if you enjoyed the video somehow, hit the like button down below, share it, subscribe button, try to hit 1K in 2021. We're almost there. It's been a long road, but we're almost there. Um, so if you want to support the channel, do that. Um, and yeah, have a good day, have a good night, whatever time it is for you. Wear a mask, uh, wash your hands. Stay safe. Bye, guys.